Obart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Topic number four, job practice Stringer bead, flat position, without and with filler metal The objective of this job practice is to become familiar with torch and filler rod manipulation on mild steel plate Material, 16 gauge mild steel, electrode, 1% thoriated tungsten, 1 8 inch diameter, shielding gas, argon, welding grade, filler metal, E70 S3, 1 16th inch diameter. Equipment, power source, AC DC combination, collet, and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves and helmet, wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings, polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 50 to 60 amps. Hot start, 4. Post purge, 10 to 15 seconds. High frequency, automatic. High frequency control setting, 50. Gas flow rate, 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, 1 to 2 electrode diameters. For this job practice, you will first learn to get the arc started and a well without filler metal in the flat position on the surface of a mild steel plate. Position yourself comfortably and place the torch over the workpiece. Right-handed welders travel from right to left, while left-handed welders travel from left to right. The torch is held with a 90 degree work angle and a 20 degree push travel angle relative to the work. If you look along the axis of the weld, you see that a 90 degree work angle is perpendicular to the plate. To see the travel angle, you must look from the side, the welder's position. A 20 degree push travel angle will be tilted 20 degrees from vertical as though you were pushing the puddle with the tip of the electrode. Lower your helmet and press the foot pedal to start the arc. Hold as short an arc length as possible and form a puddle about one electrode diameter wide. As soon as the puddle forms, move along the plate to form a constant one electrode diameter bead for the full length of the workpiece. At the end of the plate, release the foot pedal to stop the arc. Then hold the torch stationary for a short time in order to post purge the weld as it solidifies. The finished bead will look like this on the face, flat or slightly concave and about one electro diameter wide. On the back side, there will be a slight bead. It is important that the tungsten electrode remain clean at all times. If you strike the arc on the steel or dip the tip of the electrode into the puddle while welding, you will have to stop and re-grind the tip. It will be necessary to steady your hand very carefully to maintain the very short arc that is required. If you dip the tip into the puddle, don't try to weld further. Stop and re-grind the tip. After you have practiced welding without filler metal, 
Repeat the process with filler metal. The filler rod is held in the left hand directly over the weld axis and tilted about 20 degrees up from the plate. The torch angles remain the same as before. Start the arc with the foot pedal. As the puddle forms, the filler metal is touched to the leading edge of the puddle so that some of the rod melts off, and then it is moved away. This in and out dip technique is continued throughout the weld as necessary to produce the desired bead size. Avoid touching the tip of the electrode with the filler rod. At the end of the weld, add a little extra filler metal to the puddle before breaking the arc to fill in the crater and reduce the chance of cracks in the crater. Then hold the torch stationary to post purge. The finished weld with filler metal should be about one to one and a half electro diameters wide. On the back side, there will be a small bead. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.